What a goodie. But I do have to see your license and registration for that one. Welcome back to another episode of Trish's Life Spicy Toy Reviews. And in this episode, we are going to review this beautiful premium sex machine from Highsmith. And it looks like, you know, you actually need registration and license for this one because it is so powerful. It is, it's amazing. I actually am totally in love. Like seriously, unpacked the Highsmith machine parcel that I received and I got this beautiful bag out. It's quite heavy and when we open it up, we can see Ta -ta -ta -ta. this is how it comes. So there is a dildo in there and then the high smith machine i got all the top things out as you can see this was in the top and when you remove that you will find the heavy bits um on the bottom oh that's quite heavy and i am going to put that one now together <gasps> i am so excited it's all unpacked and I've already started to put these ones together as T-shapes. So you have to take all the plastic off, put that together and then I'm going to do the rest now. Oh, I'm so excited. As you can see it is coming together. And there is one cord that's connected to the power that you plug in on this side. So you plug it in here and then this one attaches to the remote control. So it's quite a bit that you can use that. And I'm going to show you now when you work this. So you press it on. Always make sure it's on zero. And always make sure everything is attached the right way because you don't want to have any surprises. So power is on, it's all attached, all the cables are correct, everything is tight. And then you basically switch it on. So as you can see, this is how the thrusting is going to work. And you basically put on attachment. And I'm just going to show you. So this is about halfway. And I'm just going to go up to full power. Look at that. This is power. O-M-G. <laughs> There's potential. And you can hear. I mean, this is full on power. The noise is quite all right. I mean, even on lower, that's nice. It's not that loud. <gasps> oh my God. There we go. And then all on zero again and switch off. Out of that control, which is attached as a cable, you also got a remote. So you just switch that one on. Press that one and then plus. Isn't that beautiful? And you just press the middle button, switches off, and then minus and plus, obviously. And also, this came with an attachment, and this is the same one like the portable one. So you click that one in. I'm just going to show you now that one with the attachment. <laughs> Woo! Helicopter dig! Helicopter dig! <laughs> oh. You can see that it's got this straight angle. This is how I like just put it together. But you can basically lower this one to have different kind of angles or lower the front to have different kind of angles. So I'm just going to show you that one. This is on the other side with these ones. So you open them up. So if you open that one up, 
you can then loosen that up and then lower this Ooh. and then you can see the angle changes so depending on how you want to use it as a doggy straight be creative make good use of it <laughs> i've just lowered this completely down and this a little bit lower as well and then you can see it already got a different angle so if you want to use that now here on the floor for example you can use that in like a doggy style and it is really really sturdy so it is made of that really high quality steel and it's gonna last it is such a good investment so i got mine from bedaring.com.au and if you use code trisha you get 20 percent off which is wow like totally worth it with this one because it is a little bit more expensive but it is an investment that's gonna last you that's gonna last you a few years and you get so many different attachments with that one. Um, that is amazing. So it's not just like one toy and, you know, and that's all it can do. So um, you can use it for dildo attachments of all sorts. You can even put on pussy pockets and stuff and then have that stroking feeling, you know. Um, I can't really review that because, you know, but I can imagine it is like next level awesome because you've got your hands free and it will be just like... You can adjust it for like how you want it in between faster and slower and the same for the penetration so if you want to go anal if you want to fuck your pussy with it stroke length is about 15 centimeter and it is it can get quite powerful like wow if you put it up really high whew. um always make sure everything is attached properly before you start it and the same, um, it's a machine, it's going to heat up after a while because we've got a motor in there. So after 30 minutes, you should maybe let it cool down again. If there's anything faulty, feels hotter than normal, just really leave it be and double check everything. And also because it's electricity, it does need power. Try not to squirt, like try, like give it your best not to squirt because you don't want to mix water and electricity. So there's just like my, my big hint there. So that's really, don't do it. Be safe and have lots of fun with it. As you can see, it comes in a case. So if you do not want to leave it out anywhere so that someone could see it, you can dismantle it, put it back in the case. You can also travel with it. Compared to the portable uh, sex machine that you can see in one of my previous episodes, this one is definitely heavier, more powerful, more expensive. So it really depends on... Um, how powerful you like to have it if you are more traveling with it if you're someone who's like lots on the go and needs like a machine to be on the go then probably the portable one will be better whereas this one will last you a long time sturdy and oh it's just like whew, pow baby <laughs> i also love that you can control this one through either this one here with a button and then you just like turn it up and down or you've got the option of using the remote or you've got the option of using the app so similar to the portable one where you've also got a remote also can use the app um which like your partner can control it or you can control it yourself while you're busy down there so um you don't have to like reach for anything you can just like have that in there and you're like oh and i'm coming and then quickly off but even if you leave it out i mean it looks I think it looks really sexy um, but it also comes with a cover so you can even just cover up the top parts and then I mean it just has some legs so no one would really see what it is unless you really know what it is so the attachment that comes with it is like an average sized dildo out of silicone which is nice and soft and like a real looking um, dildo so it's got his head got his veins got his balls and it got this click clock attachment again, which you can see. You just click. There you go. Love it. Like perfect size. Um, I have actually officially called this one my um anal doodle because I've used it for anal and it stays now anal. And I fucking loved it. So yeah, tried it in my pussy, tried it in my ass, and I love it. For removing just pull it back pops up as i said there are different attachments pussy pockets dildos and if you need different um accessories here as well so highsmith has got it all 
and I've got two different attachments so I'm gonna show you this one um this is one of the um dragon fantasy dildo ones and oh my god like look at that big head I feel like it looks like like a snake or like something stinging and like yeah so that curve whew. very risky for hitting the j spot and squirting which is dangerous with this one so that's why i had to mention it again um just really be careful and mindful with that um but oh my god that one is so good like beautifully um had to split it open and oh it's it just while it was going it kind of like moved its position so that was a bit surprising i was like whoa so if you do it this way and all of a sudden it goes that way and you feel it like it's going you know everywhere um that was interesting i have to say the least um but yeah i love this one it's really good um the quality it's really nice and soft it's obviously also the silicon one so you need to use water-based loop um same with the other attachment that came with it uh with this one though i just felt like i had to use way more loop um than compared to the one that was provided so they do feel slightly different um both soft and beautiful um again clean before and after use you know righty rah the same that i've always say in my previous episodes so you should know it by now um and if not like it's my reminder this one is called the evil dragon and it's a 9.4 inch dildo attachment and you can also get that from bedaring.com.au and make sure you use code trisha for 20 percent off then i also got another attachment for this one Ta -ta -ta -ta. oh my god the golden twisted monster anal dildo 8.5 inch I wouldn't recommend it as a beginner for anal, especially also not with a machine on top of it. Um, that's a bit more for the advanced, but oh my God, look at that. Like, feels amazing, like amazing, but it's definitely more for advanced. And you might want to prep um, your butt a little bit prior to that one as well. So, because you can see it gets quite thick um, and it can get quite deep as well so start slow same with the stroking start with slow motions it's always anyway so always have it on zero and when you start insert it first like that's how i can recommend it insert it first yourself like slide yourself in it and then start with slow strokes and then you can go higher and faster and you can Put, push yourself towards it for a little bit deeper or go away from it for not so deep so that's really like up to you so you are still really much in control like in control anyway because you've got the remote unless your partner is controlling it then you're obviously not that much in control but you can lean in and back out as well so if you feel like it's going to go too deep um you can go back forward or you can lean towards it um, to have a little bit of a deeper feeling this one the same and especially for anal highly recommended lots and lots of lube water-based lube clean before and after use but i can definitely tell you whew, this is like wow i am actually like this is the first time i tried any of these um like monster dragon fantasy ones and i'm in love like i love the that they are formed differently they have different shapes and that they have got this different like texture and like because you have that unique feeling and it just feels different than compared to like a realistic looking a dildo these ones are just like next level so i'm actually looking into getting quite a few more different like of these monster dragon ones because i've seen they're like some really really interesting ones out there and i can imagine that feeling must be like whew, it's just like it's just different it's just like and i love it I'm, I'm, I'm someone as you know now um someone who loves to explore love to just try new things and because you never know you might like it and i wasn't expecting that but yeah here we go love these different textures one so i can't wait 
what i also love about this machine is so quiet like i didn't expect it you can barely hear it like really compared to the portable one the portable one i found is more noisy whereas this one is quite a more powerful for so the investment is so 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 worth it like I'm like, why did I not invest it earlier into this one? And obviously it comes with a little instruction booklet. So make sure you're going to read through it. And there you can also see the ideas of different positions that you can use, the different um, click clock systems and attachments that you can get. Look at that. All these attachments. There, guys. And also for anal. And there's all these monster series as well. Vibration series as well. overall my review i fucking love it and you know where you can see the not so safe for work reviews you can see them on my only fans trisha's life so I'll see you there if you're curious about how i am using these toys go check it out any other questions pop them down below get in touch with me and i'm happy to answer them thank you so much for tuning into this episode i hope you enjoyed this episode it is always so great to have you here make sure you like this video show it some love comment down below that you've watched it um what you think about the product or if you've got any specific toys equipment tools that you would like me to review if you are a company and you would like me to review one of your toys or products please email me on trisha's lifework at gmail.com i am always super super keen to explore and try out new products make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future episodes because there's so much more to come because there's so much fun out there and also don't forget to share this video with your friends. I am sure there's one or two friends that need to know about these spicy toy reviews. So go share it with them so they don't miss out. The more in detail version of my spicy toy reviews, including demonstrations, you will find on my spicy website, Trisha's Life. And if you want to learn a little bit more about self-love, self-pleasure, self-confidence, because life is too short to not love the shit out of yourself, then go to healthywithtrisha.com. Thanks again for being here, and I will see you at my next episode on Trisha's Life. Spicy toy reviews. Well, I'm glad I got my license and registration for this one, so I think it is time to fuck.